Racing.com. Special guest on the line from Saudi or Dakar or wow. wherever. <laughs> Andrew Short. What's up, Shorty? How are you? Yeah, just sitting in the motorhome. Everyone took off this morning and full depressed mode right now. But, um, I- yeah crazy race and uh didn't go well for me that is such a bummer we talked about it at the top of the show phil ask shorty what the question that we were all wondering shorty how are you it's been a while <laughs> yeah you're not getting me the, sl- <laughs> the slashing of the throat no, <laughs> no, 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 no oh i forgot about that lately come on come dude on. the guy's concussed <laughs> and you're yelling at him tell you're gonna kill him and he doesn't know what city he's in <laughs> Shorty, you still have to I take. You gotta take the blame for that one. Come on. Oh yeah, I mean, but I don't even know what happened. <laughs> you so. cross jump me, but besides the fact, <laughs> oh, gosh. I didn't cross jump you. I cross jumped that entire path. Yeah, that's I think true. I went, that's um, true. Yeah, and I took out like ten people. Uh, so what's so. going on? What happened out there? What, what? No, the question. No, the question we have is why can't you? Yes, keep why, racing? why can't you keep racing? Dude, that's this race. Like, uh, once you're out, you're, you have to complete the whole distance, you know? And uh, the crappy part is, is, like, when your bike breaks or you crash or it's on your own, I, I get it, you know? But the way it happened for me is at the refuel, I went to the last pump, and obviously water is heavier than, than the fuel, and I was the first bike on the last pump down there, and I got a ton of water, Um in my tank and, and I tried to fix I dude I changed everything on my bike. I was hard wiring switches and going to direct power and checking up trying to pressurize the pump from the battery and all kinds of stuff. Jeez. And uh put a stock ECU on. I mean I worked for hours out there and I couldn't get it to go. And um so that's this race. It's like Dakar has its own rules, you know, and uh I don't yeah, like so it's over. I don't like the race. I, okay, so hold on. <laughs> the, the 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 water was in the team fuel or the supplied fuel from the race organizers? Race organizer? Yeah. Racing? No, yeah, the organizer provides the the fuel because you're in the middle of the desert. Okay, you know, so like, why? It, well, yeah, well, that's bullshit. Well, what, th- their fuel has yeah. water in it. We're about to get another race tech yeah. man. I yeah, feel. yeah. <laughs> I I don't get it. What what? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm. Yeah, and my team's really fired up. Also, you know, obviously and. <laughs> Uh, this is insane. Yeah, long, long discussions last night, and I woke up this morning not knowing if I would race or not. Oh, so maybe you, they would so, cancel the stage after this section. So, so you thought maybe yeah, because yeah, I can't believe yeah, it. So, it wasn't even anything you did or your team did. Nothing. Exactly, and the amount of money that's spent to oh. do this race and to have something like that out of your control, and it's kind of like Loretta Lens. You know, as an amateur, your whole year is based on one race. Yeah, and you're all in for this one race, and when something goes bad, it goes really bad. But when it goes good, it's like. But MX Sports isn't uh, supplying you an ECU to go to the line. That's faulty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so uh, it's it, it's a long, you know, it's a, it's a crazy race, man. So uh, uh, I, I don't know what to say, and it's hard for me. My head is spinning, and uh, but that's that's how it goes. So Shorty and I that's saw. Oh shit! I He's saw... got to be really careful. He's still in country in Saudi. <laughs> I thought, Shorty, I, <laughs> I saw the Yamaha, and that's awesome. And then I saw the 7 on the Yamaha, and it was all coming together for us. And, was ma- the, yep. and maybe this was the Daytona coming together for us, where you try to jump the wall, and then you end up... Like Stu? Yeah, Stu. Oh, Stu. Okay. Like, that's what I'm like saying. Like, yeah, yeah. like the bad luck of Stu, the, the bad part of Stu caught Shorty. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. This is yeah, it's crazy. heartbreaking. You put so much effort, so much work into this. As you said, the millions of dollars on the stake uh, on the line for everybody, and this is how you go out. It has to be. Of course, you're Andrew Short. You're the nicest guy ever, but it's Phil. You would be, you would oh, be irate. I'd be, I'd be livid. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. just the, just the time and money that goes into it, and it's something that's not even your fault. It's like NASCAR now. You know, they give you your own. Um, handguns or whatever to change tires, and it comes from NASCAR, but they're faulty. And it's not the pit crew's fault, you know what I mean? It's yeah. NASCARs who provide the guns. Like, dude, millions of dollars are spent to run this car, and they can't change the tire because the gun, gun failed. Yeah, you know, like. But Bill would have ended up on CNN, Al international Zero. next. Yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. Be, I'd, yeah. Be, I'd yeah. be in Saudi prison probably. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the first day, the first day went okay for you, right? You were okay with that. Uh, yeah, I was really happy. Yeah. I don't, 
know if you guys pay attention, but there's a lot more navigation this year, which is really good for me. And you want to be average each day because the time is going to swing uh, back and forth. Mm-hmm. So like Toby and Ricky, they've tried to just crush it, and it's really backfired on them. Um, so if you can be between like 6th to 12th, I would say, in, in between this range, um, if you can do this and get through the first week, the second week, that's where you're going to win the race. And yeah. uh, So I have a lot to look forward to. Hopefully, you know, I, I'm going to try this race one more time. It's, uh, it's, it's like, I'm hooked on this thing. It's so cool. And it's a really special race and it's like nothing else. And, uh, I want to give it one more try and it's really scary also, oh, uh, just cause yeah. the speeds and there's so much going on. And I was really scared almost before I left also. So I'm happy to be uh, coming home, not broken and all that. But, um, man, it's, it's hard to, uh, to, to stop on day two you know oh so are you hanging out there or do you come back home yeah well i'm trying to find out if the flights are leaving now because saudi stopped all all flights oh gosh because of the corona stuff with europe so i took a charter flight here it's not exactly easy to travel yeah yeah and to get across. So i'm not sure how i'm gonna get home but obviously the race is going to continue for 10 more days and I'm kind of along for the ride until I can get to the an airport to get home. Short, uh, Shorty's going to uh, be in a camel, like like you you've know. Seen, uh, remember Indiana Jones when he's in <laughs> crossing China and they show the map yeah, and he's in the yeah. prop plane <laughs> yeah. and then he connects and then he connects and he goes to Karachi and then he goes uh, to Nepal. I'm thinking he's more like spies like us. He's in a ca- he's in the desert, just like all wandering, <laughs> like 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 across the sand. Hey, I, I was in the desert yesterday, you know, fixing my trying to fix yeah. my bike. I was there forever, you know. And right. I'm running out of water. And, uh, Finally, the organization comes to me, and they're like, do you want help? Are you out of the race? I'm like, I, I don't think so. I'm trying to fix this thing or whatever. And they right. said, well, if you don't stop now, there's no one coming to get you until at the earliest, late tonight, or possibly tomorrow morning. Oh. <laughs> and that's when I messaged the team. I'm like, hey, I've tried everything. I don't know what else to do. Um, am I done, or am I staying the night here? You know, And I was like, I'm starting to freak out, you know. Yeah, it was going to be a long night, so it was uh, and how, a little crazy. How, how many? I've never, how, I've never seen this side of Dakar. How many hours did you work on it? Would you say? Oh, I was there for a while. I, I picture, know. I picture I myself, myself but... I picture myself just holding the electric start the whole time. Yeah. It's still <laughs> not working. It's still not working. It's still not working. Hold on. It's still. Let me working. wait a minute and then push yeah. it again. Yeah, it's still not working. <laughs> yeah. God, I changed every part I had on my. I mean, I was putting new spark plugs in, spacers, direct yeah, power, yeah, off yeah, power, yeah. hard wiring, right? Changing switches from front to rear pump, off the light, and then to the fan switch. I mean, dude, I was I did stuff that I didn't know. I, I learned a lot. But I was gonna say, how did you know how to do this not. stuff? I, I was on the the satellite phone with the team. Wow. So I, I practiced a lot of that before, but when they run out of things like that, they taught me. Yeah. Then I'm like, okay, what do I check next? You know, I'm like, yeah. well, you got to connect this to this and then go from the first injector to the second injector. If you cross this wire, it has red and white. Connect it to the yellow and blue one. And whew, it's crazy. And then it runs for five seconds and dies. You know? Oh, I would, oh man. I would, I After you just put peaking. it back together. Peaking. So can you, so. did you know it was water at that point? No, because I I didn't. I didn't know it was water. Well, I was going to say, could you drain your tank? Because I knew the, the, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, but the other thing is, if I get – it was right after we fuel, and I had 270 kilometers, and I needed every bit of gas. Yeah. So if I would have drained it, I wouldn't have made it anyway because I didn't have enough gas to get to the finish. Right, right, right. right. So yeah. either way, I was screwed because I had more than a couple liters of water in my fuel, and it's, it was too much. Unbelievable. So, but, yeah, there's – you know, Ricky's. I, I hope he can. He doesn't have a great starting position today, mm-hmm. and he has a good opportunity, obviously, to do good, like last year. Right. And then Skyler Howes, the other Americans, doing well. A couple side by side guys. There's a lot of Americans here. This is really cool. The side by side guys, uh, Austin Jones, and um, he's the monster guy. And then Rebel has a whole program with two American kids that are doing well. So wow. it's cool to see that, and it's. Uh, Tony Tony Alessi wants to weigh in here. Bullshit. That's what Tony Alessi has to say about, <laughs> has to say about this. Joaquin Rodriguez. Yeah. Joaquin yeah. Rodriguez? Walkrod. He's in uh yeah, he's actually he's in twelfth. Really? 
Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. I didn't even know he's a rally guy. Yeah, and then Sherco has a. Oh yeah. Is it uh, Rui Gonzalez? I think. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Former yep. Uh, twenty. Yeah. Yep. He's a fly guy, or what used to be a fly guy. Oh uh, okay. Oh yep, yep, Rui yep. does that. I didn't even. Yeah. Know. Wow. Yeah. I, I just saw that between Sherco team Rodriguez and Rui and Shorty. We got like I, uh, uh, quite a bit of moto. Two thousand and six. Quite a bit of moto. USGP going Jeremy on. Jeremy McGrath. <laughs> oh really? Wow. wow. <laughs> it's in forty four. Josh. Han- Josh Hansen. Oh. <laughs> Number one hundred. <laughs> Can Shorty get it to that level? Uh, hey, Shorty, do you have a teammate? Yeah. Is there another Monster Yamaha guy out there? Yeah, there's four of them. Oh, four total? Uh, I have four other teammates, you know. Yeah, no, there's five of us total, but yeah. So where are your teammates? I mean, I don't know how much of an indication that gives of where you could be, but how are they doing? Yeah, well, Ross Branch is one of my teammates from Botswana. That's who I'm staying with in the motorhome here, and he's doing really good. Yeah, I had to tell him to slow down yesterday because he was going to be leading out today i'm like hey dude you need to pump your brakes a little bit oh wow um, but me him and van beberen van beberen were all together yesterday so we were all really close and in a good position uh yesterday when all this happened so uh, i think my teammate was like fourth overall today and we've yeah. been real close the whole time yeah. so but you don't want to be too far towards the front right now you want to be that you know, fourth to eighth overall, probably. And each day you want to be back a little further, like sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth uh, on the stage. So it's a it's so racing for me right there. <laughs> yeah. That's JT's whole career. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why yeah. is that? Why is it bad to lead? Because there's no tracks and you can't read the the terrain, and that's when you get hurt because. Okay. The desert all looks the same when you're going that fast. Mm-hmm. When you're going close to 100 miles an hour, you can't see the subtle steps or bumps. Mm-hmm. And this is when you can get into trouble, and you can't see the road. So the navigation, you'll be at a cap heading, and it's more or less like you're on the sea, you know, going out of, uh, in the ocean, going out of cap heading. So it's really difficult to do this. And if you have a couple lines in front of you, it helps so much yeah. um, at speed to navigate and uh it's just a big difference. So it takes a lot of skill and it takes a long time to learn all these things. And there's a lot of strategy this year. They really tried to slow down the race. You know, you, you spoke about Joaquin Rodriguez, his brother-in-law uh, is the guy that passed away last year, Apollo. And um, so I don't know. It's uh, I, I think he wanted to race this year kind of for his family and all that. And there was another guy that passed away also last year. So they've really tried to slow the race down, put more navigation in there. And uh, it's really helped the race, I think, and, and it's more exciting. And from the racer perspective, it's, it's a lot more fun also. It got a lot less exciting with you going out of it. Uh. That's all I got to say. That's <laughs> bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, so there was a chance, like, they were going to, like, there, there was there was big meetings and big issues. They might have let you ride, like, maybe. Like there was, Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, like, AS, yeah, and, like, like everything, there's politics. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like Yamaha is a big sponsor of Tour de France. You know, right? At right. least there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff that go, you know behind this. It's just like any other type of racing. So ah. in the end, it didn't work, and it wasn't right. my year, and it's hard to accept. But well, listen, Houston, hard. Houston's twelve days away. Come on, come Dude, on I'm back. All about, yeah, J- I need something to look forward to. So sign me up for a race. Yeah, jump into Super Soupy. France, but- <laughs> Jump in the super, you'll be fine. Dude, Star Racing having another rider. What's the What's big the big deal? deal? Right. They right. have forty nine guys already. <laughs> yeah. Throw another Yamaha. Yep. Out there. Yeah. There yep. we go. Yeah. Yep. I was bummed because I was gonna miss Anaheim one in Houston, but I'll, uh I think I'll make Anaheim one in Houston. I might even make all three. So Anaheim. Um, what are you talking about, Anaheim? Saying the Anaheim <laughs> you know, the first one race Houston. in Houston. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Anaheim one in been, Houston. In, you've been oh in yeah. Houston, got it. Um I thought you were in the desert too long. <laughs> um, well, thanks, Shorty. Thanks for calling in all the way from the car. Uh, really appreciate the call. It sucks balls. I'm really, ba- I'm really mad. Yeah. I'm mad, and I'm sad for you. And, and that's bullshit. You know, yeah, it's bullshit. It you is. know, he's not actually in the car, right? He- he's in Saudi, or where yeah, is he? he I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, all right. you're a legend. I'm in Shorty. Wadi AD, wherever that is. So okay. Uh, well, thanks for taking yeah. the time, Shorty, and calling. Yeah, thanks for having me, and uh, make sure Phil doesn't choke you out tonight. No, yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. See you, yeah. Legend. All right, thanks, Shorty. See you. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Bye. See you. <sighs> Shorty. Andrew Short, everybody, calling in from Saudi. Doesn't even know how he's getting home. That's so, all of it's so Andrew Short. He's yeah. the only guy that would call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only guy that would call yeah. in the circumstance. Yeah. Do you think he said any curse words when he's swapping all those no, parts? No, probably not. You don't think so? No, no, probably not. You? Yeah. Oh, man, guys. I've sorry. seen him pretty angry before. Yeah. 
He yeah. gets pretty fired up. Phil yelling at him when he didn't even know where he was, and Phil's going, <laughs> throws, 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 like, come on, bro. Was that Atlanta? Atlanta, yeah. yeah. Atlanta, yeah. Oh, yeah. Atlanta, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Everyone's sprawled out dead. <laughs>